In this video, we'll use rows to create a simple stock portfolio tracker. The tracker will return the current price of each stock in our portfolio and return the value of each of our holdings according to the quantity that we own. The main tool we'll be using in this project is Rows. Rows is a spreadsheet with built in integrations. We'll be using Rows Free Plan. However, if you exceed the limits defined on their pricing page, you will need to upgrade your plan. Also, we'll be using Alpha Vantage to access the data on stocks. The Alpha Vantage integration is built into Rows. It makes the whole process slick. For convenience, I've timestamped the video in the description. First, you must begin by creating an account at Rows. Once you've created your account at Rows, what you'll need to do is then log into your account so we can begin creating our simple stock portfolio. Once you've logged in, you'll want to click Create Spreadsheet. Let's title our spreadsheet simply Portfolio Tracker. Let's title the page within our spreadsheet and let's title that portfolio and I'll title the table too and I'll change that to holdings. I want to insert the following headers for our table too. So in column A I want stock, in column B search, then get, then ticker, then currency, then price, then quantity um, and finally I want to end it with value. Now I'm going to make stock bold, ticker bold, currency bold, price bold, quantity bold and value bold. Now in cell A2 what I want to do is add an action element which we can find here and I want that action element to be the input field. That's where we're going to insert the name of a stock that we hold. Now in this input field, I'm simply going to enter Facebook. Great, let's move on to the next step. Now we want to query Alpha Vantage with the name of our stock, Facebook. So let's go into cell B2. Then what we want to do is open the functions menu. Here we can search for Alpha Vantage, which we can find here. As you'll see, there are many queries we can run in Alpha Vantage, but the query that we're looking for is Stock Search Alpha Vantage, which, if we scroll down, you'll see it's towards the bottom Stock Search Alpha Vantage. Now, what you'll want to do is copy the formula, then go into cell B2 and paste that in. The cell will throw an error because we haven't defined what data it should use to search. So in the formula, what you'll want to do is enter A2, then close the formula. We can now see that it has gathered data. If we click on this button, to open the menu, then click All Data and Expand All, we can see the gathered data. We want the United States ticker symbol and currency from this data set. So if we scroll down, we can find that towards the bottom. From here, we'll want to find the symbol, click Copy, then go into cell D2 and paste it. Similarly, we'll want to do that with currency too. So if we go back into the menu, go to all data and expand all, under the United States, we wanted the currency, which was USD. So let's copy that, then go into cell E2 and paste that in. Excellent. You've successfully passed data as easily as that. Now, for the data in cell F, we must call a different function in cell C. 
So click into cell C2, then open the functions menu again. And from here, similarly, what you'll want to do is search for Alpha Vantage. This time, the query that we're looking for is stock Alpha Vantage, which we can see here. So again, let's click into that. And from here, you'll want to copy the formula. Then go into cell C2 and paste that in. As before, it will throw an error because we haven't defined what data it should use to search. In the formula, what we'll want to do is enter the cell D2, which holds the ticker symbol, then close the formula and click enter. We can now see that it has gathered data. And if we click on this button to open the menu, then click all data and then click expand all, we can see the data gathered. We only want the price from this set of data, which we can see here. So once you've found that, click copy, then go into cell F2 and paste that in. Again, you've successfully passed the data as easily as that. Now, let's say we have three stocks in our portfolio. Instead of repeating the flow that we went through, we can highlight everything we've done and then simply drag that down. In cell A3, let's enter the holding as Tesla. And in cell A4, let's enter the holding as Twitter. You'll see the stock data update immediately. Sometimes when you update a stock, it won't automatically show its listing on the US stock market if the company is listed in the US. It may show a listing for a similar stock on another exchange. If that's the case, You'll have to go into the menus and then search and pass the correct data. Let's add a simple formula to complete our portfolio tracker. In quantity, let's enter the number of holdings for each stock. Facebook 8, Tesla 12 and Twitter 4. In value, let's enter the following simple formula equals and then I'll create some brackets and in between those what I want to do is enter G2 times F2 so the quantity times the price and now that we have that formula in one cell we can drag that down so it reflects in the other cells too. Now let's click X on the functions menu and then click live. There we have our simple portfolio tracker in Rose. Rose is an excellent tool and its capabilities far extend what you've seen in this tutorial. However, I hope this tutorial got you excited enough to play around with Rose. This project is now complete. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this no code project, please give this video a like. And if you want to be notified of the latest projects that I publish every week, please subscribe. I'll see you in another no-code project.